Okay, we are um, on chapter um, chapter eleven, um, angular momentum. In fact, that's what they're de demonstrating in the opening uh, shot. You've got a diver in the tuck position. When she's in the tuck position, she has reduced her moment of inertia, and so she's able to spin faster. Um, but before we get to that, we're going to revisit, or we're going to discuss the vector product, uh, the vector product and torque. If we look, um, uh, torque is defined as the R cross F, which is uh, the magnitude of the torque is equal to RF sine phi. Well, let's look and see what that means. Uh, let's uh, share the iPad so I can make notes here. Um, okay, and I've already drawn in what uh, F sine phi, if you, if you look at the little blue, um, you have F, oh, sorry about that. You have, uh, this is your, your uh, F sine phi uh, right, right there. This is F uh, sine phi. So what is, uh, I'm sorry, that's theta, this is phi. So what you're doing is you're taking the uh, perpendicular component or the component of F that is perpendicular to the um, uh, radial vector, R. Uh, so torque is equal to R cross F. It says, well, that portion of the force that is perpendicular to the radial uh, lever arm, uh, that's torque. And you can see that torque is, pointing in the up direction. So let's go back to our discussion of the cross product or vector product, um, as some people say. Let's uh, share the PowerPoint. <clears throat> so whenever you have a, a two vectors, the vector product or cross product um, is found as, as shown. The direction of C is perpendicular to the plane formed by A and B, and its direction is determined by the right-hand rule. So if you see A and B, if you cross A, in, A into B, then C is in that direction. Now let's do the other. Let's cross B into A, B into A. Um, now it's C in that direction, so that's minus C. So. Um, C equals A cross B, uh, C equals A, B sine theta. Uh, let's look at some properties. A cross B equals uh, B cross A. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see if that's true. Uh, well, we know it's true, and let's just see if you can visualize it. Hello. Um, Let's look here, uh, and I've already got, um, you can see that here's minus B, this, uh, this here is minus B, that what I just circled is minus B, it's B in the minus direction, and B cross A <coughs> is still C in this direction here. So indeed, uh, a minus B cross A still gives you C. So, uh, we can see that that's correct. Let's go back to the PowerPoint. And uh, so A cross B equals B minus B cross A. A cross B equals zero if A and B are parallel. Well, what does that mean? That means that the sign uh, between them is equal to zero. Because uh, if A and B are parallel, that means the angle between them is equal to zero or 180, uh, that's hard to do, 180, you know, in two different directions. Uh, if A is this way and B is this way, there's parallel, but they're in opposite directions. Well, what's, either way, the sine of zero is equal to zero and the sine of 180 is equal to zero. So A cross B equals zero if A and B are parallel. That means that they're either both going in the same direction or going in opposite directions. <coughs> so A cross A equals zero. Uh, because the angle between them is zero, so sine of zero is equal to zero. Now, if they're perpendicular, 
If A is perpendicular to B, that means that sine of 90, either sine of 90 or sine of 270, is equal to uh, 1. So then the magnitude of A cross B is equal to just AB, because AB sine theta, when theta is equal to 90, or 270, is, well, we'll stick with 90. Uh, AB sine of 90 is equal to AB, because sine of 90 is 1. Um, and uh, it's also distributive. The cross product is distributive. A cross B plus C equals A cross B plus A cross C. And the derivative, DDT, <coughs> of A cross B equals DADT cross B plus A cross DBDT. All right, now. Uh, Let's look at unit vectors. We already learned that A cross A is equal to zero. So I cross I equals J cross J equals K cross K equals zero. All of those, anything, any vector crossed into itself is equal to zero. Now, if I, J, K, they are all orthogonal to one another. There's a 90 degree angle between each one of them. So I cross J equals K, J cross K equals I, and k cross i equals j. And notice that whichever one is not in the cross product ends up being the answer. So uh, a cross j, k isn't there. So k is the resultant. j cross k, i isn't there. So i is the resultant. k cross i leaves j as the, uh, as the product. OK, and, and it works all just like we showed. A cross B equals minus B cross A. Uh, we can use that to show these others. Um, okay, so A cross a uh, minus B equals minus A cross B. Um, so if you remember from our opening, uh, A A cross a uh, minus B would have been a vector this way. It's the same as the minus a, minus a would be back here. Minus a cross b would still be <coughs> a vector in that direction. Okay. Now the vector product uh, displayed as a determinant. Um, so notice to 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 come up with the equation when you're looking at i. Notice that the the you use a little um, wh whichever, uh, whichever parameters aren't in, under I are the ones that you, so if you use I, see how it's A, Y, um, A, Y, A, Z, B, Y, B, Z. You have those down here. Now, if you choose J, it's A, X, A, uh, well, it actually is backwards, A, Z, A, X, and B, Z, B, X. And if it's K, it's AX, AY, and BX, BY. And then when you multiply all that out, it's AY, BZ minus AZ, BY, uh, I plus AZ, BX um, minus A, AX, BZ. Uh, and J, and then AX, BY minus Y, BX. Now, how, how are we going to remember that? <clears throat> I've got a little method here of um, hopefully it's kind of a mnemonic um, or it's one, one of the ways I learned to to uh, remember this <clears throat> here's the iPad so we have IJK and let's repeat uh, I and J so what's under I is AX and um, AY, BX, and BY. Now that's going to help us remember uh, what, the, what the result is. So A cross B is going to equal to, uh, first we're going to do the I, so it's the whatever since we're using I, we're going to use the ones that aren't under I. So we're going to do these. And whenever you're in this direction, it's positive. Whenever you're in this direction, it's negative. So um, it's AY 
bz minus, now you see we're going in this direction, that's negative, az by i, okay, plus, now j is, um, j is what we're using, now we're going to use these pair, okay, we're just going to go, go on that, uh, that's why we reproduce it, so j, we have um, az bx minus ax bz, and that's j. Now we're going to do k, so we're going to use these that aren't under k, but it's easier to remember, uh, at least for me, it's easier to remember if you do, if you do this. Um, so K, we'll put the K over here, and we have, um, oops, we have uh, AX BY uh, minus, because it's going in the opposite direction, AY uh, BX times K. Now, you probably can't see it, but I'll be able to see it when we go back to the um, uh, PowerPoint, and let's see if I got it right. AYBZ minus B AZBY, I, uh, AZBX minus AXBZJ, and AXBY minus AYBX. So, uh, yeah, that's, I was able to reproduce it just by using that little uh, <coughs> memory method of ex ex repeating the, uh, determinant outside the determinant bars. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, now the direction of the torque vector, you can see that uh, uh, R cross F, the phi between them, uh, you, you, you move the, Let's go back to the uh, that torque. You know, would you, if we let's just make blue so it'll look like the uh, 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 we're reproducing the force vector here, and now that's might be easy, a little easier to see. R cross F, and here's the phi between them. R cross uh, this is F. R cross F gives you that that gold torque um, there. So that uh, let's go back to the PowerPoint. <clears throat> so R cross F gives you that gold uh, torque value. Oops, wrong way. Now, which of the following statements about the relationship between the magnitude of the cross product of two vectors? and the product of the magnitudes of the vectors is true. A cross B is larger than AB. Well, sine of theta goes, the values go between one and minus one. So it can't ever um, be larger than AB because sine, sine never goes over one. Uh, AB is smaller than uh, AB. Well, in the case where, where uh, uh, A and B are, are uh, parallel, uh, no, well, that's zero. When they're 90 degrees, uh, it could be the same as AB. A cross B could be the same as AB. AB sine theta is equal to one. <coughs> so it could be smaller, but not necessarily. It could be larger or smaller than AB, depending on the angle between the vectors. Well, we've already said that it can't be larger, so that discounts that. And A cross B could be equal to AB. Now, could makes it a possibility. Now, if, if you said in B, A cross B could be smaller, that one would have worked, but they're saying is smaller. So the only one that really works here is D. A cross B could be equal to B. Okay, and that's where we're going to stop. It's probably a pretty long uh, 
video, but I apologize.